Hi guys and welcome to another video. I'm back in the Lake District and today I'm at Loughrigg Tarn. Andy isn't with me today but I am joined by Paul, Cumbrian Lad Outdoors. So we're going to have a bit of a hammock camp. We're just going to have a little walk around the tarn and find a suitable spot to set up. As you can see there's a load of trees here. We're going to have a look over that way as well and see what trees well, what trees are going to be suitable over there as well. That, I think that way might be better. It's a little bit more tucked out of the way. We're going to head over this way through the gate. The town looks so still. And the swans over there. See if I can get in on them. Ducking for fish. And the ducks there as well. So just walking along the town, I spotted this little memorial. So unfortunately we didn't find anywhere suitable around the town to pitch up the hammocks. Um, you can maybe see the stone wall, well beyond that, that field is private land so we're not going to go in there. So we're just going to follow this path, go over the stile, just where Paul is, and explore down there. Yeah, I'm going to check out this little patch, see if there's anywhere for the hammocks. Paul's already heading out in among it. Right, we've walked here, there, everywhere, up and down, and we've found a little spot to camp at. So yeah, I'm gonna find myself between these two trees, and Paul will be right next to me. <laughs> between them two. We're down in a dip, because the wind's meant to pick up later on, so we should be fairly protected from any wind. There's only that direction there, where it can come from. Yeah, I think it's a blooming good spot for a little hammock camp. Yes, I! So we're still on with setting up. We're nearly done. So thought we'd come up this little bit of the hill. Give you a look about. Over in that field, and there's a sheep, but there's also a little scarecrow. So we're just down there. There is a path just below us, runs right along here and up, and follows that wall along. Yeah, I don't think there'll be too many more walkers now. We're out of the way of the path anyway, so we're not bothering anyone. Yep, yeah, just do the last few bits of bobs of setting up, get my chair set up, then it'll be beer o'clock. Are you ready for a beer o'clock, Mr. Paul? In the words of the great Adam in the wild, yes I! <laughs> well, me and Paul have just been sat here. It's beer o'clock. We've just been shooting the shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> so yeah, I think in, in a little while we're going to get some tea on. I'll show you what I've got. I've got some coconut rice. I'm going to have that with some Bombay potato and I've also Possibly a bit of crow as and well a, And a bit of crow And I've got some bits of chicken to put in with that so that it only wants heated through I'll do that on my, what have I got? It's my TBS stove again, I've brought that one out So I'm going to use my alcohol stove with that And then later on, I did actually bring some kindling And we'll have a little fire going, I'll get rid of that so we'll be a little bit warm later on. So yeah, see you in a bit when I've got some food on the go. So here we are for my tea. Got chicken, Bombay potato and coconut rice. What are you having Paul? Look at that. 
I've got Cumberland sausage, a full Cumberland sausage whirl with cheesy Idaho and mash. That so is... if you guys haven't heard of this before, Idaho and mash from Tesco or the like, one pound and I swear to God, it's so tasty. Daz will tell you. Yeah, exactly I've tried it. It is good tackle. It's really good, really good. Easy camp food, you know. So, so yeah, I'm basically being a, a fat bleep tonight. <laughs> Cumberland sausages. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I look at them. That's it. That's my tea ready. Bombay tatties, rice, and chicken. Mm. It's good. Yes, I. <laughs> rice and peas. peas. I'm probably going to chop all this. So crap with Paul and then hit the hammock. And that's me all nicely tucked up in the hammock. I've uh, found a really nice spot here, like. It was uh, caught us by surprise and I'm glad we went up a little bit further up the hill and uh, found this spot, like. I had a cracking night with Paul. We've sat around my little um, wood burning stove. I love that stove. It's a really good bit of kit from TBS, that. Um, yeah, I've just talked, talk serious, talk crap, and now it's time to chill out, have a sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. morning guys I've been awake for about 20 minutes it's about 25 past 5 in the morning now just got a little coffee on the go so yeah just slowly waking myself up and a bit of rain all night woke up I'm not sure what time it was it must have been around half one in the morning ish and the rain was coming down pretty hard um, we were forecast a bit of wind for last night but didn't feel a thing to be fair I don't think because there was no wind or whether it's because we were sat in a bit of a dip so here we are surrounded by a stone wall on one side over where Paul is we've got a couple of hills either side there's just a little bit behind me where it goes downhill but yeah that's the only place the wind could have came from and we felt nothing I was really warm the snug pack under blanket is worth worth its weight in gold really warm sleeping bag yeah I didn't want to get out of it just toasty warm <laughs> yeah I'll finish my coffee and we'll just get packed up and we'll get ourselves away you know what I didn't tell you is I usually bring a pillow whether I'm in a hammock or a tent well, I forgot it this time so all I've done is stuffed my down jacket in the snug pack stuff pack that's for my under blanket and it worked quite well I woke up a couple of times with my head on these clips but it's all right nice little makeshift pillow comfy enough so I'm nearly all packed away now the hammock's down everything's in the bag apart from the tarp uh, tarp pegs and my hat hanging up there skyline bag and my light that's it we'll go over here to where we were sitting last night so yeah pretty much where my head torch is shining I was about there Paul was there so as you can see there's no sign of where we had that little fire I covered that up last night before bed so yeah leave no trace people Paul's almost done just got his tap to take down too, right yeah. mate? Back away with his bags there. Giant jelly bean time this morning. <laughs> so yeah, just about ready to go, mate. It's been a good night, mate. It's been a cracker bit. What a little uh, find this spot's been. Nice and uh, secluded. 
just off the path, out the road. We were wooded for a bit, weren't we? We weren't going to walk Walking around the town, like I, like I said on my video, you know, there is always an advantage to going out and wrecking in a spot first. Absolutely, yeah. Obviously, that takes time. Yeah. And I, all I've ever done is use Google Maps, but yeah. They often turn into the best ones, Absolutely, though, don't they, Absolutely, mate, yeah. yeah we we did first stop on a hill. We got the rucksacks off and said, ah, this will do. But we carried on up the hill a little bit with the rucksacks off and just found that nice little flat spot right here. So, yeah. Bobby Dazzler. Get on. Right, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!